Hi there, it is Simon here. Now this is my Maiden, Mini Maiden, Diesel Special guitar. Nice guitar. The other day, Telly Fan, thanks for your note, asked if I wouldn't mind just having a bit of a rundown on the guitar itself. So, here we are. Hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you in a second. Alright, so let's have a chat about this guitar, but before we do, please do subscribe and hit the button if you're able to support the channel at patreon.com forward slash Simon Morell, that would be unreal. Alright, so we've got an acoustic guitar here. It is absolutely tiny. Alright, I'm not necessarily a very big chap, but let's just grab a dreadnought acoustic guitar and you will see that Oh my God, so small. Okay, so you can see that it's a pretty significant difference in size. Um, this is great because it is easy to play, easy to cart around, and uh, is really good for stage, which is actually why I bought it. So I used to play this Gibson uh, Songwriter guitar. It's not called a Songwriter, it's called a CL30 Deluxe. But then they thought about it and they called it the Songwriter instead because it was easier to say. And um, I used to take that to loads of gigs and, and play that one, but I started to get a bit nervous about it disappearing. I've had it for a long time. And so I never really bought a guitar before just for kind of work, if you know what I mean. I'd always bought a guitar because I'm like, ooh, nice blue Telecaster, I'll buy that, or, you know, that kind of thing. Whereas I went through a whole bunch of different guitars with the aim of them being good for being plugged in into a PA or, or acoustic amp or whatever, and actually having a good sound out the front of house. So that was the main reason I bought this. And it's also crazy easy to play because it is short scale and you get a great sound out of the pickup. In the second half of the video, I'll plug a microphone in so you can hear the actual acoustic sound of the guitar in the room um, a bit more directly. So let's just do a bit of playing. I'm going to put a bit of reverb and compression on the sound going through so you'll hear what it sounds like. So first up, we're gonna just start with some just big strummed open chords, okay? Uh, Um, how about we go for something a bit more picky? So, how about... Uh, bar chords maybe? some maybe some individually picked stuff. Uh, let me think of something. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bye. 
All right, so that's a little bit of playing. Um, the, the wood uh, that the guitar is made of, solid top, back, sides, is a Tasmanian black wood. It has, I don't know if you can see that here, an AP5 pickup in it, which allows you to adjust the volume, treble and bass. And we've got some other controls. Let's have a little bit of a noodle with them and you'll hear the uh, impact that they have. I've got, I generally have everything set pretty flat, I've got to say, because the pickup just is well EQ'd naturally. So let's just bring the bass all the way out. Bass all the way up. Back to where it was. Treble all the way out. Treble all the way up. Might not be that fun. And back. All right, then we've got two other controls. We've got a frequency that goes from 1K to 2K. Now, where did I have it set? Oh, I had it set quite near the bottom. Let's uh, give that a roll. Let's move that up a little bit. Is that halfway? Oh no, there's no little dimple. So it just this is all the way at the top. These controls are really good to, for avoiding feedback if you're suffering from feedback, if you're playing crazy loud. I must say though, because it's a small body and the small sound hole, I've never really experienced any major found, found back feedback dramas. All right, then, um, We've got another control here that goes from minus 10 dB to plus 10 dB. So come all, it's all the way back, there you go. Low frequencies. Or the mid, sorry, mid frequencies. It's weird because actually you can't hear this, so I'm confident it's probably gonna make a difference. Uh, all right, I'm not actually monitoring anything. So hopefully that answers some of your questions. Uh, has it, It's been very reliable, this guitar. I have played loads and loads of gigs with it. Um, when I first bought it, maybe, I can't remember, 2006 or seven, maybe, something like that, eight, maybe. Um, I played a lot of singer-songwriter shows and I probably played, I don't know, 150, 200 shows a year for a couple of years with this guitar. Um, and it held up really, really well. The strings on uh, the Elixir strings, which literally last forever, which is awesome. And uh, the only thing I've ever had to have repaired, I'm not terribly hard on guitars, but I mean, it is always out and one of the struts became unglued. So luckily my friend Les was able to fix that up and uh, re-glue it because it was like, <laughs> which was an, an awesome sound, I've got to tell you. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's that's the rundown of this lovely lovely little thing it looks nice in the in the light there doesn't it um let's see what it's like with a microphone plugged in bear with me two seconds okay here it is in the room i am going to uh, make sure that you know you can hear it through the microphone i am using a samsung i'm not very good with microphones samsung something uh it probably says on here somewhere i don't know it's a microphone condenser microphone Small one. <laughs> Samsung something or other. Samsung. Samsung. Like Delilah and. So I'll see if I can remember what I just played. I think so. I just did some strummy chords to begin with. So. All right. Then uh, I think I played a bit of a uh, bit of that. Oh 
probably played it better the first time. And then I played some bar chords. right Okay, so that is a rundown with an actual microphone in front of the guitar. You're probably noticing that it sounds better plugged in than it does an acoustic guitar. I mean, it's a small body thing, so it's not going to make much noise, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, I've got a lot of love for this guitar, but it's not the best ever acoustic guitar that I've heard. But it's still a pretty reasonable sound, it's a pretty tight sort of sound pretty tight sort of sound. I just, I really, really like it. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily have bought it if I didn't have to do so many acoustic gigs where it was just had to have a machine that sounded like an acoustic guitar. Um, but it's been absolutely fantastic. I understand mate and make three versions of this. They make uh, a laminate one, which is basically, a, I think maybe a all laminate, then a solid top with laminate sides and back. And then this is the flagship one, uh, Maiden Diesel Special. Diesel, if you don't know, is an amazing singer-songwriter based here in Australia. Maiden being an Australian brand of guitar. Um, they do 12-string models of these bad boys as well. Uh, I've played one of those too, and that's just awesome. Big fan. Uh, and what else can I tell you? I think that probably covers it. If you have any extra questions, just put a little note in the comments and I promise I will answer you as quickly as I can. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. If you're able to, please go to Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash Simon Morell. Bye for now.